Hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel, The Truth Hurts. Today I'm going to be discussing red flag number 150. You are never the same after a narcissist. I've been studying narcissism as if I was a psychology major. I've encountered many people who said they were suffering for years. This is because you are hurt and angry. You want to get back at your narc, but guess what? That won't satisfy your anger. Trust me. I tried to do it for you. I tried to strike a blow for everyone that suffered at the hands of a narcissist. It doesn't work and it only brings you down to the level. After you get the maximum F you on them, you will still be angry. This is called suffering. Had they eased you into this mode, you might not be so angry. But being that they cut you off unexpectedly, you feel used. And you were. You must not continue your hindsight with them. Please watch Red Flag number 146, Hindsight with a Narcissist. This is what's keeping you mentally sick. Narcissism is contagious. You were infected by their madness. Think of the movie 28 Days Later where the world was infected with rage. The only difference between you and the infected is that you can still think. But you're a ticking time bomb that split seconds away from going ah! Now when you're hurting Stupid people will look at you and say, what's wrong with you? Instead of asking what was done to you to make you act this way. The relevant question in psychiatry shouldn't be what was wrong with you, but what happened to you. No logical person gets angry when nothing was done to them. People get angry when they were violated. Violated. New York term for doing something that causes a beatdown. Now, let me break this down to you. The hardest thing to do in life is to do the right thing. When you don't beat them down and you walk away, you will see your monster skip to my loo with another person and smirking because they got no on you. After some time, your anger turns to bitterness. But this is a good thing because it shows you are getting better. Getting worse is when you stay angry. You're bitter because you are still grieving at the moment. Please watch red flag number 106, mourning the narcissist. There are seven stages to grieving and anger is stage four. Without knowing it, you just moved up four levels. From shock, pain, isolation, anger. Got three more to go. Depression, turnaround, acceptance. I don't care who you are, you will always go through the stages. Like an actor of a play from beginning to end. Since each stage is different for everyone, it's very possible to spend more time in a stage than another person. Do not compare your recovery to someone else. And damn sure don't compare it to your monsters. Your monster is out there fucking people. But they're not happy with whom they're with. Remember, they one time looked happy with you. They weren't happy. You learned that that was an illusion. It was an illusion then, and it's an illusion now. This is why you stop stalking them on Facebook. All you're going to see is lies and whoring. Your goal is to be happy with the next person you choose to be with. This is not a race. You are getting better for yourself. So do it properly. Another person 
may have went through what you've gone through, but they don't feel the same way you do. They can only relate. That's why you always hear the stupid phrase, get over it. My book collection guides you through these stages. My books have been life tested by me three times, three different women, three different situations, each highlighting the creeping, lying, and cheating, and tested by other survivors various times, <laughs> which has proven to ease their pain and make them feel better about their situation. Now, these situations are life-changing. You are never the same again. Love is a battlefield, and I'm the motherfucking general. Have you seen the movie Platoon, where Charlie Sheen was a new Jack? He was all timid in his first firefight. At the end of the movie, he was a badass kicking ass. That's how you're going to be. You're going to take no more shit from nobody. I guarantee it. And if someone tries you, they may catch a beatdown. I really don't think they will be as lucky as your monster for you to just walk away this time. Think back to when you were the child. I'm talking kindergarten. Can you remember when a classmate hit you or pulled your ponytail and you went crying to the teacher? Do you do that shit now? Now, you punch them in the face. See the progression within the space of time? Now, I'll be honest with my thinking because I really want people to understand how the human mind operates. I'm not a violent person. Now, by a long shot, I'm a pacifist. However, there is a point where a non-person, non-violent person can be driven to violence. That was done to me. This was one of those times. Red flag! Any person that takes you out of your character is not worth being with. They will cause you to do something that will ruin your life. Always remember, you are more important than them. Run! Now, picture yourself as a pizza pie. Pizza pies are sliced into eight slices. Before you started dating, you was a whole pie. Delicious, hot, straight out of the oven. Nine people came and each one took a slice. Eight slices are taken and one person's without a slice. Now, picture each time someone fucked you over. Each time and every time someone fucked you over, a slice, a piece was taken out of you. Here comes another person with their bullshit and another piece was taken from you. With each slice taken, you become less and less whole and less and less yourself. Now, with that ninth person that didn't get to you was probably the good person that would have probably treated you right. But you're all fucked up now because everybody took a piece from you. Whatever I say about women holds truthful for men. Women play games with a good man. Then he becomes afraid to give himself to another woman and then ends up hurting a good woman. And the cycle continues. Women always say they want a good man but never become the good woman that man needs. Now my monster left a man that went to work with her to protect her. Because as a traveling nurse, she went to the most desolated, secluded backyard barns and boondocks in Texas. That scared even me. And I'm from Brooklyn. Land of gunshots. 
Now, if you're doing all of this for someone and they didn't appreciate you, what are the odds that you will do it again for someone else wholeheartedly? Very slim. This is why you must take a break from dating. You are not ready to date. Either you're going to hurt someone or someone is going to hurt you again. While I was in a Facebook war with Lilith, read the chapter, The Online War, in my book, once again, here we go again, this time with the narcissist. A man saw me in pain when I was posting Lilith's naked pictures, and he wrote this to me. It was quite comforting, and I'm going to share it with you. Hey, brother, I read your post on how many women were trying to shame you and guilt trip you as a man, telling you what a real man should or should not do. That's because they are whores and they think with whore logic. We all have had that one whore that made our life a mess. The key now is going inside yourself and fixing and healing what is hurting and broken and making sure that you only attract top-notch quality women from now on. 95% of USA black women aren't worth the price of a condom wrapper. First off, I'm sorry that happened to you. No one deserves it. Least of all, a guy that's trying to do the right thing. I wanted to point out to you I wanted to point you in the right direction for some of your healing. There's a page on Facebook called A Shrink for Men. And the author is a psychologist named Dr. Tara who specializes in supporting people who have been in abusive and manipulative relationships. I also suggest you Google her website and read some of the articles. Definitely contact her about personal therapy sessions because... It's imperative that you do not let what that slime bucket did either shut you down permanently to a good woman, however hard they are to find, or leave you in unresolved issues where you will find yourself back with a similar woman. What you experience is not just a bad apple. This is a cancerous phenomenon that is destroying our culture. I hope you take the tools from the people who are supporting us like Dr. T so you can understand that there are people fighting back against this madness. Be well, brother.